Hello, I'm David Abulashvili. I'm a senior Node.js developer at Monterey. Um, first of all, I would uh, like to um, tell the Ukrainian people that uh, uh, and in name of Georgians that we are supporting their situation and we know what they are going through. Um, but uh, yeah, we hope that everything will end uh, well for Ukraine. Um, for now, um, I'm going to talk about state of Node.js for beginning of 2022. And um, yeah. Let's uh, start from um, agenda. So we are going to talk today about uh, what is Node.js, uh, how it all started. Um, mm, uh, we will discuss a little of history of Node.js. Uh, also, um, what is the place of Node.js in the world, uh, how it uh, improved backend development in general, and what is the future of Node.js. Uh, let's get started. So, uh, what is Node.js? Node.js is um, an asynchronous event-driven JavaScript runtime with non-blocking um, input-output model, and uh, it's a sync-threaded um, uh, event. Uh, it's op it operates on sync-threaded event, event loop. Um, yeah, and. Uh, mm, uh, which is based on um, open source Google's uh, um, V8 uh, uh, engine. Um, there is a misconception that it's a library or framework, but no, it's not a, not a framework, it's not library, it's a runtime of JavaScript. Uh, how, how it all started? Uh, first of all, um, Ryan Dahl um, um, made uh, Node.js in 2009, and uh, his idea was simple. He just took uh, Google's uh, V8 um, a JavaScript engine, added some um, uh, API to, uh, to work with files and networking and stuff like that, and uh, made possible uh, to run JavaScript on server side. Um, a year after that, um, uh, one of the um, most popular um, frameworks um, uh, uh, will appear, like uh, Express.js and Socket.io, Socket um, which made uh, Node.js very popular and many developers adopted it. As um, for front-end developers, it was really easy start uh, to um, uh, to do some server-side um, uh, applications uh, because they already knew JavaScript. And for backend developers, it was a new exotic technology. Um, in uh, two years later, npm was released, uh, npm 1.0. Um, uh, with a new package manager, it was really easy to add new features um, in your applications without um, uh, additional development. Uh, it uh, it it become uh, easy to deploy your own packages and ship to to them to others. And um, some of the applications uh, we have written like Lego puzzles, uh, building from npm packages. Mm. Uh, in two, uh, 2012, uh, first front-end package manager appeared, uh, and um, it made possible to build uh, um, tools like AngularJS and uh, all other pre um, co um, predecessors of uh, modern um, front-end libraries like uh, um, Angular, uh, Vue, and um, React. Um, uh, it was uh, uh, um, the time when um, uh, callbacks from front end, uh, as well as these problems with callback health, appeared on back end. Uh, but uh, Node.js took this uh, uh, seriously and <clears throat> solved these problems very fast. Uh, they introduced promises. And after promises, uh, they uh, went even further with async await. It was really easy to develop um, new applications, uh, code, um, what it was easy to write, and um, community was growing day by day. Um, finally, merging uh, IOGS, uh, a fork of Node.js, back to the Node.js was a huge um, 
success for um, uh, this technology because uh, um, uh, community was not uh, split it anymore. Uh, we had a uh, new stable versioning from 4.0 4. Uh, um, and um, um, all, uh, all started from there and uh, never stopped. Okay, what uh, um, uh, uh, there was a saying uh, that any uh, um, application that can be written in JavaScript will eventually uh, be written in JavaScript. And um, uh, um, from beginning, it was um, <clears throat> said about front-end uh, applications, but uh, after a huge success of Node.js, uh, these words uh, acquired new meaning. And um, now we can say it's about um, almost every application. Uh, what, may, what makes uh, Node.js special? Uh, for first of all, is it's uh, easy to learn if you don't know any programming languages. JavaScript may be a uh, really easy choice to start with. Um, also, it's very really simple to use because um, when you have full step full stack application, all you need to know is a JavaScript, and uh, now you can build front end and back end applications with the same technology. Uh, it's fast and uh, lightweight. Um, uh, it co consumes uh, uh, less resources and. Um, uh, works really fast uh, um, because of the um, again Google's eight uh, V8 engine mm, compared with other dynamic type languages. Uh, it's scalable. Um, uh, when um, uh, Node.js was introduced, it uh, uh, can scale uh, much easily than other uh, concurrents at this time, like Apache or other. Um, um, software like that and it's community driven uh, many uh, developers adopted this technology and um, uh, they are developing it uh, um, improving it day by day uh, what is the place of Node.js when we can use it? Uh, so first of all, serverless functions, uh, of course. Um, serverless functions uh, uh, are supporting Node.js out of the box uh, um, in, in almost all uh, vendors. Uh, it's great for real-time applications because of uh, um, non-blocking I.O. and uh, great WebSocket uh, um, support. It's great for microservices because of its light um, uh, lightness um, and um, uh, small consumption of resources. Uh, it's great for IoT uh, to um, co uh, to collect data from small uh, hardware devices, uh, also from uh, for front-end development, as uh, we know, all uh, all, all um, building uh, front-end building tools are building uh, are written in Node.js and uh, great for mobile and desktop applications um, because of. Um, um, uh, frameworks like Ionic and um, Electron. Okay, um, what is the domains of use uh, uh, use of Node.js? And uh, 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 simplest question would be, is Node.js everywhere? And um, spoiler alert, it, it is. <laughs> it, uh, we can um, write uh, small and medium app web applications with Node.js, e-commerce apps, CMSs, uh, almost uh, all crypto apps using Node.js right now, data streaming apps, and so on and so on. Uh, and we can um, continue this list all day. <laughs> Um, uh, here is uh, examples of uh, uh, products which are built uh, with Node.js. Uh, uh, all uh, domains we uh, we uh, listed, like uh, um, web applications, um, uh, desktop applications, um, and so on. Uh, how it improve? How Node.js improved backend uh, development in general? So first of all, um, uh, the the main idea um, which Node.js introduced was asynchronous uh, input output. 
And after Node.js, many other languages and uh, technologies adopted this approach. For example, we have uh, FastAPI and Tornado frameworks for Python, uh, Vertex and Play on JVM-based languages. And Golang was born uh, with uh, asynchronous in mind with GoRoutines. Uh, also, uh, because of its, its speed, um, Concurrents started to uh, keep up with Node.js, and we now have a PHP 7 plus version, which uh, improved its um, uh, performance really, really well. And also Python starting from 3.7 version also become fast. Um, and uh, with WebAssembly and Rust building parts of application, uh, which are um, resource consumption, uh, consumptive and uh, um, performance, uh, Per, 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 uh, need uh, high performance. We can build only the part, these parts with low-level languages and other parts with no, uh, with uh, JavaScript and Node.js. And, and it makes backend development much faster and delivery much easier. Uh, what is the future of Node.js? Uh, in my opinion, um, uh, right now there is uh, really... Um, big uh, um, uh, boost of technologies which uh, with uh, server-side rendering, uh, for example, um, Next.js with React, Next.js with uh, Vue, and uh, SwelteKit is developing. And I think uh, more and more applications will use this approach. Um, more uh, libraries will be uh, standardized, standardized. And uh, um, uh, when uh, uh, Node.js first appeared, uh, NPM packages um, were chaotic, and you could not choose uh, one standard library for um, each case but now it's more stable and it will uh, this tendency will um, uh, continue in the future we will have gr more great tools so now we have um, communication applications like Slack and Skype written with Electron. We have uh, VS Code written is also with Electron and uh, such uh, um, great tools will continue to appear in Raider uh, in the future, in my opinion. Uh, TypeScript is uh, mainly used in enterprise applications because of uh, uh, more strict syntax and um, 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 uh, it, it's a really great uh, technology and really gr great language to learn. Um, probably um, in the future, uh, no, uh, more and more Node.js applications will use it. And also, of course, mobile and desktop applications um, will also be written in Node.js. And uh, yeah, uh, it uh, seems Node.js will become the king in, in all uh, dimensions. Um, what's the conclusion? Uh, the conclusion is that uh, right now we have a really strong community with Node.js. We have many great tools. Um, uh, several um, frameworks are extremely popular, not only um, compared with other Node.js uh, frameworks, but uh, uh, compared with all um, mm, uh, all backend, uh, um, all backend frameworks in general, um, and uh, um, we we can see that uh, in on every update, Node.js brings uh, features and improvements uh, which every developer needs and makes development easier. Um, yeah, so uh, future is bright, it, Node.js is uh, thriving, and uh, um, it's a really good time to learn the technology if you don't know it, and uh, uh, to keep working in it if you already work. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and uh, yeah.